Hey friends, I'm back with another video. This one I'm going to be battling a level 75 paladin, high elf paladin, with a level 75 wood elf ranger. And I feel like their gear is about similar. Um, I tried to make sure to get their stats close in line with one another. So let's go through some of the gear that the Paladin's going to use in this first fight. I'm just going to use the Inured Knight Sword, which is crafted by players. Um, I found a Bulwark of Lost Souls, which has a, just an AUG for the look of it. So it looks nice. Nothing really special. 80 AC, 270... Um, hit points on it. They are both wearing identical sets of jewelry with the same gems. Um, half moon cut underfoot diamond which gives 25 to strength, stamina, wisdom, agility, and dex. 25 to all the saves. 25 to AC. 635 hit points, mana, and endurance recommended level of 75 so it's at full strength at level 75 which they both are the paladin has archaic uh breastplate but that isn't a huge difference from the elegant uh defiant that the ranger is wearing um the paladin also has some elegant defiant so it's nothing super special even some elaborate defiant um i made sure that they're both they're both wearing some intricate pieces like for the um shoulders and back uh now the paladin has a pretty decent belt thrall master belt at least i think it's decent for level 75 and it has a 37 percent haste i'm making sure the paladin only has buffs that it can cast itself we're not using poison we're not using damage shield potions the ranger has their own damage shield so they'll be using that so of course i've got brels and armor um buff and the sworn protector and the proc buff and paladins get like a you know mediocre uh, haste buff called Valor of Mar. So that's what the Paladins got. Oh, and let's go to the Paladins. Total hit points is 18,378. The Rangers total hit points, so we don't forget, it's only 16,249. So yeah, they've got a small handicap on the hit points. Not sure why, it's not like the Paladin has really better gear. Um, like you see, you know, elegant chain. Um, so they don't get that much more hit points. Like the Paladin doesn't get that much more hit points. And it's a mishmash between elaborate and defiant or elaborate and elegant defiant gear. Um, again, the rings, uh, they're compartmented, Torium trio pieces, and they're, they have the same gems, the same cut of gem on each of them. So the only stat it doesn't cover is charisma, which neither of them will need it for this duel. Um, the Ranger is using a Barrel Breaker, which is an appropriate weapon for her level. It's recommended of uh, 75, and um, so that's a one-handed blunt, and the ratio on that is 1.36, and then an Inured Longsword, which is a ratio of 1.14. And the Paladin is using an Inured Knight's Sword. So let's see what happens. 
they are going to go to 20% so we don't have to resurrect them. I've got a druid standing by for heals and um, so at 20% we stop the duel. Whoever gets 20% first is the loser, right? So here we go. Uh, let's let the ranger go first because the ranger is at a small hit point handy cap. Gonna make sure we got the right person targeted, yes. And let's watch this through the eyes of the druid that's standing by. Oh, this is interesting. Ranger is winning. Yes, the ranger is officially kicking that paladin's ass. Even though the paladin has about 2,000 hit points up on the ranger. Which makes sense. A ranger is supposed to be DPS. And I was always curious as to, you know, just how much DPS a ranger has. I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. Uh, the ranger is for sure getting a lot of procs from those procking buffs that they have that they can cast themselves. And, you know, I'm not doing spells on either one of them. They're just both set for auto attack. I don't have any third party software running. This is just a duel on auto attack. So of course the Paladin could be casting their really good heals on themselves, but they're not. And it looks like the Paladin's about to lose. They're at 25%, 23%. I'm going to get on the Ranger so I can... Yep, 20%. Okay, so the ranger won that duel uh, at a huge margin. <laughs> wow, I am very impressed with that ranger. I did not expect that. And here I was feeling sorry for the ranger, thinking that the ranger was going to die because it um, was lacking hit points, I thought. And the, the ranger is wearing chainmail. So let's see, let's let's take a deeper dive into the stats here. Uh, haste 165% for the Paladin, 130% for the Ranger. So the Ranger's even got less haste. Let's check armor class. Armor class, the Ranger has 787. The Paladin has 788. No, I was looking at the wrong thing. The Paladin has... Uh, 965. So the Paladin has more AC, more hit points. Uh, let's see their attack. Paladin's attack is 788. The, oh my god, the Ranger's attack is 1059. That is a huge difference in attack. I don't know how it's so much higher. I guess it should be because it's a Ranger. It's supposed to be DPS. So now I'm going to try something else. Instead of the stupid shield and sword, we are going to give the paladin a heavy two-handed blunt and see how that goes. And you could see their, I think their two-handed blunt skill is maxed or damn near right, right by it. Uh, their max is 325, their skill is 322, so pretty much maxed out. Um, and so we're going to try that. The ratio is 1.47. Let's see what the attack is. The attack is still pretty low. But this should give the Paladin greater damage because they're not wasting, you know, a slot on a shield. They're just having a much harder hitting two-handed weapon. So this time the Paladin goes first because the Paladin lost the first duel. So here we go. Second round, fight. So 
as you can see here, the stats of both. So far, the Paladin is losing again. I don't know how this is happening. It's like the Ranger is is doing even better. Like the Paladin can't even hit the Ranger. What the hell is going on? I don't freaking get this. Suddenly I'm thinking I wasted my time with being a paladin. <laughs> oh goodness. <sighs> the paladin's almost dead. 36%. And the, the ranger's at 75. Holy crap. Did you think this was going to happen? Because I didn't. I'm, I'm weeping. I, I'm weeping inside. Alright, 20%. Paladin lost. How? How did that happen? Okay, so my other option is uh, a two-handed sword. Two-handed greatsword. Uh, which is supposed to be even a little bit better. So I guess we'll see. Let's get on that druid and heal them up. Which, I mean, it's not like they don't have any hit points. I have to cast the healing spell multiple times. It's a level, uh, well, level 72 druid. I didn't have appropriate level cleric to, you know, witness and do heals. The, the best thing I had was a druid. Or, well, I could have used a shaman but you know same difference and they both have just sort of medium heals they're not neither one of them is a primary healer maybe i should also see is it is it this weapon that's just so amazing i mean it doesn't seem like it it's just oh it's it's proc partially stuns and does 75 damage that still shouldn't make a big difference like it really shouldn't. Let's give it just two inured long swords versus that two-hander and see what happens because I'm kind of having pity on this paladin at the moment because yeah that that two-hander is like the paladin's best weapon. So paladin's gonna go again and 20% is the loser as before. And we'll witness from the druid's perspective. Get some of this stuff out of the way. This is interesting. The match is a little more even now. Does that one-handed blunt barrel breaker was that the one the, the the one like big difference that was giving each fight to the ranger i mean the ranger is still winning just not by as much You know, and one might say, well, if you gave the Paladin some good Cleric buffs and Shaman buffs, they might beat the Ranger. But then the Ranger would have those buffs too. I mean, to make it fair, they would both have to have the same buffs. You can't be like, oh, well, let's, let's, get, let's give all the good gear to the Paladin. It's not a fair duel. I'm trying to keep this fair. Whoa! <laughs> so, I almost... Uh, <laughs> Let the ranger actually kill the paladin. Um, so the ranger won again. And it's still by a pretty big margin. Uh, with the paladin being at 20%. The ranger being at 63. I, I don't know. What else to do here. Um, you know, let's heal them up. And I'm like, do, do I have to, like, take away the ranger's weapons completely so the paladin has a fighting chance? 
It's just, it's just really sad. What we'll do is we'll give the ranger a two-handed weapon. They've got a two-handed inured, two-handed axe. And so then they're both fighting sort of like a little more on even ground, I guess, because they both have, you know, shitty two-handers, I guess. I don't know. I just don't know what else to do. So, okay, here we go. An inured two-handed great axe, okay, which has a ratio of 1.5. Versus the Paladin's Inward Great Sword, which is a ratio of 1.5. So they got the same ratio in their weapons. Um, but I have a feeling because the Ranger just has such a big advantage on attack that the Ranger's going to win again. So they're both wielding two-handers. So let's go. Paladin goes first because it's been... the Steady loser. And then we'll watch it from the perspective of the druid here. Where you could see both of their health bars. The paladin is winning? <laughs> the paladin is winning. Probably not for long though. So two-handed weapons at level 75 seems to be the way to go if you're playing a melee class. Now the Paladin's winning. Like as far as... Uh, I, I don't know how. But not by much. Not by like how the Ranger won. And the Ranger might still turn it around. I don't know. Because they're both in their 60s. It's funny, it looks like they're both casting spells at each other. But they're not. <laughs> Again, auto attack. I'm not doing anything. See, my hands are right here. And now the Paladin's losing. Wow. So the Paladin's gonna lose again. Ugh. I don't think I'm ever gonna re-roll another Paladin ever. I'll just roll a Ranger instead. Ugh. Paladin is officially losing. By almost 5... No. So not quite 5%. Ranger's winning by a, just a sliver. Oh, Paladin lost. Paladin's at 20. Okay, let's separate these kids. We don't want them killing each other. So, there we go. Um, Ranger. Level 75 Ranger seems to be superior in a duel to a level 75 Paladin. Hmm. Why does that break my heart a little bit? <laughs> I've always liked paladins. I don't know why. Um, I thought they were better than rangers. Like, just preference-wise, I'm not trying to start a fight or anything with anybody. Um, I just thought they were kind of cooler. <laughs> but... Obviously, as far as DPS and uh, survivability in a duel goes, it seems like the ranger is got some sort of advantage. So yeah, um, that's it. I don't know what else I could give the paladin to make the paladin win, other than finding some... Uh, weapon that's just way superior than just a player crafted inured uh, 
great axe or a long sword, which the ranger was using. But if I was doing that, then it wouldn't be a fair duel. They need similar weapons. Um, and they were. And the ranger still won both times. Or all three or four duels that we had. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm very sad. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Um, I like doing these duels. It's sort of a curiosity for me. You know, which of my characters are stronger than the other. And when I get them both at the same level like this, I feel like it's a good time to, hey, let's get these two crazy kids in a arena and make them fight each other just for laughs as an experiment to see you know which one's doing more damage and I feel like the ranger for sure is uh, I still think that you know I'd rather have a paladin tanking in my group than a ranger because it's possible that when you're fighting an NPC that the paladin's higher armor class and then you know especially once they're fully buffed by the their other teammates and stuff and a good cleric that the paladin might last longer I really don't know um, that would need to be a completely different experiment uh, and it's harder to control when you're involving NPCs so again I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe have a great day and a wonderful tomorrow